This medication is used to treat rheumatoid arthritis, Wilson's disease, and a certain disorder which causes kidney stones. For the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, penicillamine helps to decrease pain, tenderness, and swelling in the joints. For the treatment of Wilson's disease, penicillamine binds to copper and helps to remove it from the body, improving liver function and addressing mental, mood, and nerve problems caused by the disease. For the treatment of cystinuria, penicillamine helps to decrease the amount of a certain substance in the urine which can cause kidney stones. The recommended dosage is determined by your doctor and is usually taken once or twice a day on an empty stomach, at least one hour before or two hours after meals. Remember to take it at the same times each day. When taking penicillamine 250 mg capsule for Wilson's disease, make sure to take it on an empty stomach, at least one hour before or two hours after meals. It's important to take this medication at least one hour apart from other medications, especially antacids, as well as from milk or food. The dosage of penicillamine is based on your medical condition and how you respond to treatment. Take it regularly at the same times each day to get the most benefit from it. Your doctor may also instruct you to take vitamin B6, pyridoxine, and iron, and it's important to follow their instructions carefully. If you need to take iron or other products containing minerals, make sure to take them at least two hours before or after taking penicillamine. For the treatment of Wilson's disease, it's important to follow the diet recommended by your doctor to get the most benefit from this medication. Your condition may not improve for one to three months and may even worsen when you start this medication, so it's important to communicate with your doctor about any changes in your condition. If your condition does not improve or worsens, make sure to inform your doctor. Some common side effects of taking penicillamine 250 mg capsule include stomach-slash-abdominal pain, nausea-slash-vomiting, loss of appetite, diarrhea, and decreased sense of taste. It's important to remember that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they have determined that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, if you experience any serious side effects, it's important to tell your doctor right away. This includes signs of infection, easy bruising slash bleeding, coughing up blood, shortness of breath, unusual tiredness, skin blisters, mouth sores, new or worsening joint pain, thinning slash wrinkling skin, signs of kidney problems, muscle weakness, eye problems, and signs of liver problems. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it's important to seek medical help immediately if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects not listed, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. Remember to consult your doctor for medical advice about side effects, and report any side effects to the appropriate health authority in your country. Before starting penicillamine, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies, especially to penicillins. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions. It's important to discuss your medical history with your doctor before using penicillamine, especially if you have had a severe reaction to penicillamine in the past, or if you have kidney disease or blood-slash-bone marrow disorders. If you are planning to have surgery, let your doctor or dentist know about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, it's important to discuss this with your doctor as well. Penicillamine may harm an unborn baby, but in certain situations, it may be used during pregnancy to treat Wilson's disease. If you become pregnant while using penicillamine, talk to your doctor about the risks and benefits of continuing the medication. If you are breastfeeding, it is not recommended to use penicillamine as it is unknown if the medication passes into breast milk and could pose a risk to the infant. It's best to consult with your doctor before breastfeeding while using this medication. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how this medication works or increase your risk for serious side effects. Always keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's crucial not to start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with penicillamine 250 mg capsule Wilson's disease treatment agents include digoxin, gold salts, 
drugs for malaria treatment, phenylbutazone, and other drugs that decrease bone marrow function, such as azathioprine and cancer chemotherapy. Always consult your doctor or pharmacist before taking any new medications while using penicillamine. If you suspect an overdose and the person is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to call 911 immediately. Otherwise, contact a poison control center right away. In the U.S., you can reach your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canadian residents can call their provincial poison control center for assistance. It's important not to share this medication with others. Your doctor may also recommend regular lab and or medical tests, such as complete blood count, hematocrit slash hemoglobin, liver function, urine test, and physical exams, while you are taking this medication. It's important to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. This will help monitor your progress and ensure the medication is working effectively for you. If you forget to take a dose of penicillamine 250 mg capsule, take it as soon as you remember. If it's close to the time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take the next one at your regular time. Don't take double the dose to make up for the missed one. When storing penicillamine 250 mg capsule for Wilson's disease treatment agents, make sure to keep it at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Avoid storing it in the bathroom and always keep it out of reach of children and pets. Once the medication has expired or is no longer needed, it should be properly discarded. Do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. It's best to consult with your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the proper way to dispose of the product. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.